Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be utilizing or installing Black and iSort and setting it up for automatic code formatting in Visual Studio Code. As a quick reminder I have covered Django extensions for Visual Studio Code uh, in the Django extensions for Visual Studio Code setup tutorial not too long ago now. So by all means have a look at that. In that tutorial I used AutoPep 8 to actually perform the code formatting. So black is just an, another package that we can utilize, a very popular package we could utilize to format our code. So assuming you're using Visual Studio Code and you're running a Django or Python project, open up the terminal and go ahead and pip install black. Okay, so like I've already said, uh, Black is a code format, a Python code formatting tool. It's going to format our code, uh, trying to follow the PEP8 conventions. And then the second package is the uh, let's do pip install uh, iSort. So iSort is just a, a small package that's going to sort out the imports at the top of our page. Again, following or trying to follow the PEP8 styling, Python styling convention. So with those installed, Let's go ahead now and just open up any Python page. And what will appear at the bottom left hand here, we can see that it says Python 3.9, so the version of Python and where it's currently running. So if you click on that and then select, in this case, I'm running a virtual environment, what's going to happen is a VS Code folder is going to appear in your project and you're going to have a settings file appear inside of there. So what we can now do is configure it so that we can automatically run black and iSort whenever we save a page. Okay, so this is what you're gonna need. So first of all, we've defined the Python path. Okay, so we're here we're working in a virtual environment. You may not be, so just make sure that's correct. Point into the python.exe file. And then we're going to tell Visual Studio Code to uh, do something when we save. So editor.format on save true. So we're going to basically now define what should happen um, in the editor when we actually save. And obviously we want to run the iSort program or application package, and then also the black package. So first of all, we can define our formatting provider, which is going to be the package black. And then we can go along and now add some different arguments. So um, by all means, go and have a look at the documentation for black. I just add one here, and that's going to be the uh, the line length. So here I'm just defining the line length. So here I'm utilizing 119, which I think is the Django kind of default line length. Obviously, you can change that depending on your project. So now to bring in iSort, well, all we need to do here is uh, python.sortimports.args. And here we're going to use the prov profile black. So it's worth noting here we are using iSort um, with version 5 or above and uh, compatibil compatibility with black is obviously very important to iSort. Um, so this comes baked in with the version 5. So in order for us to actually utilize iSort alongside black then we just need to run the dash dash profile black and that should then all work nicely together. So with these settings changed and saved now, let's go back into our views, press save, and you can now see we're, we're getting some formatting here. Now one thing that is missing, there should be a space here between the Django imports and the local imports here. So to get that working, we need to go back into the settings. So now we need to just add a few more lines here. So here we're going to instruct again on the editor on save, we're going to also define the fact that we want to organize our imports. So we set that to true. So when we go back now into our view and press save, we now have imports also being organized. So if you want to know a little bit more about extensions and configuration of those extensions, then by all means go over to the Django extensions for Visual Studio Code setup tutorial. I'll just take you through some of the other packages that you can install here or extensions sorry in Visual Studio Code so making sure you've got Django installed the extension Django and also Python. The setting configuration here is available in the tutorial description so go ahead and grab that. Thank you for listening and hopefully I'll see you in the next tutorial.